guys, my name is Victoria. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review of BoxyCharm, a monthly subscription box that costs $20. So this is my first month to get BoxyCharm and I was really excited to get it in because they do full size products um, instead of samples like Ipsy and Birchbox which I have currently or that I've done before. So I was really excited. Um, a lot of the YouTubers that I follow have BoxyCharm as well, so they've spoken highly of it, so I'm expecting a lot. So if you're interested in my review, then just keep watching. So um, to start it off, this is the look that I came up with, and I know the lips do not match the eyes. I didn't really plan that far ahead, <laughs> but um, basically I started off with doing um, face makeup. So um, the first thing that I got in was the brush, and it is a Bare Minerals face um, foundation brush and it has a little divot in the middle for you to it says put the drops of foundation in and then blend it onto your face I started out doing that but then um, just put my foundation onto my face with the spatula I used the um, wet n wild foundation and then I just blended it in with this brush and I did notice that it didn't leave any streaks usually I have to use um, my beauty blender and go in with that after I put on my foundation with a brush so this was really good. I've never owned anything Bare Minerals before. I was so excited to get this in because my old brush, my e.l.f. brush, um, it works and stuff, but I'm like tired of cleaning it, so I want another face brush because <laughs> I'm lazy. The next thing I did was I just finished up um, the rest of my face, so like concealer and powder and stuff, and then I went in with this um, Luminous Loose Blush by Studio Makeup, and it is a loose powder matte blush and I've never had a loose blush and I've never had a matte blush before so this was kind of new to me um, basically you just pour out the um, contents you want to use into the cap and then you just dip your brush like normal and put it on and I did really like it it turned out very pretty at first it went on a little bit strong um, so I gotta remember to tap off the excess but um, I've never had or I never really like matte blushes but this one was really pretty it's a nice like neutral color I would say it's like a dusty rose, a dusty rose color, so it'll look good for the fall and I'm really excited to use it. And then next, I went ahead and started on the eyes. So I zoomed in so y'all could see, um, but I started out with the MAC Eyebrow Pencil. It doesn't say what color it is, and I was kind of confused as to how you use it at first because it's like so tiny, it looked like I had broken it. <laughs> but uh, you just twist it up and then I just, I used it and I noticed that it was a little more chocolate than the color that I usually use, which is maybe more cool tone. This is more warm tone, but I did really like it, and I think I can't really notice a difference between this and my Elf one, which I guess is good on Elf's part. Um, but I mean, this was good. There's no gripes about it. It's not bad. So, yeah. And then I went in with this pure eyeshadow palette, and so I started off not really knowing what I was gonna do with it, um, but the first color I did use was Private Party right here, and I just put that all over my lid just to set um, and give it a base. And then I used um, Splurge, which is this like little transition color just for the crease, and went in with Stunner right here. It's a very orangey color and I was feeling those autumn vibes. And um, I didn't really know what I was going to do with it at first, I kind of like put it out in the outer corner and then I decided to do like a halo eye. So I did the orange and then I did this color called Epic which is a dark brown color and kind of did that on the outside and the inside. And then Twinkle, this uh, coppery rose gold glitter shadow um, just on the center of my lid and then on the inner corners. And I did really like how it turned out. So the glitters at the bottom, they are that was really hard to use those. Like it had major fallout. Um, I would probably use it with a like glitter primer first instead of just like going straight in with it on a brush or your fingers. Um, and that would probably turn out a little bit better. And the colors, so like the lighter colors are nice, but the orange seemed a little patchy. So I don't know if I like that very much. And I mean the other two, you know, very pigmented colors right here. The brown was alright, I have better shades of brown to use, and I can't really tell if this is like a purple color next to the brown, but I, let's see, well, yeah, it just, 
see how it's not very pigmented so I don't know if I like those colors maybe for transition colors if I'm going for a natural day it's nice but I don't think I'll be using those other these three colors um, but yeah definitely have to go in with a glitter primer for the glitter shadows and then for lips I went in with this ColourPop ultra satin lip in the color little stitches 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 I have no clue how to say that <laughs> but it is way too light for me um, I think this might be pretty in maybe the springtime but it's a little bit too nude for me and I'm probably just I'm the tannest that I'm gonna be right now because it's like the end of summer um, so maybe in the spring this would be a good color but I definitely won't be wearing this again this is not a, a good color for me right now although I do like the finish of it because I've never tried okay I've also never owned anything by ColourPop I don't know why but ultra satin lip it's not very drying so I do like that like versus the Kylie lip kits the matte ones like that would have had my lips like the Sahara Desert already but these aren't it is a little sticky I don't know if you can tell but it, my lips stick together yeah but it's comfortable so that's good and then the last thing is this Bri Brio Geo don't despair repair deep conditioning hair mask um, it says you just use it after shampooing and then you wash it out after letting it sit for 20 minutes. So I haven't actually tried this. Let me smell it. Ooh, it smells like it smells like this hair salon. That's yummy. Um, I don't usually like getting like hair stuff in a makeup package that I not package makeup subscription box that I pay for, but like I do need a hair repair mask. My hair's a little damaged from heat. So I'll try this out and let you guys know. Maybe down below I'll put a little description, so just look out for that. But overall, um, I would say out of the one, two, three, four, five, six things that I got, I think that was worth $20 for sure. Like, that's amazing. So hair mask, sure, maybe a bee. Um, I didn't really like the palette, but the glitters will be fun to play with later, so B minus, eyebrow pencil, A, ColourPop lip color was not my favorite, so C plus, <laughs> sorry, um, blush, A, and um, the brush was definitely an A plus, so this was definitely worth it this month. Um, I would say BoxyCharm so far is worth it to me. So um, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Comment down below what you think about BoxyCharm and if you've ever tried it before, let me know. Um, like this video, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Hi, it's Vicky, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!